Hi guys, welcome to the Alan Show. This is uh, an update. We're going to have an update on the seismic activity in the different areas of the world. We already know the world moves, and moves means earthquakes, right? Whether it's in our country or around the world. Some are more severe than others, but we want to follow up a little bit on what's been going on in the uh, West Coast area, in the desert area, okay? So, right, let's, let's get, right? So, here we go. I'm going to move this little to the side. We're going to start with the usual suspects, right? The state of California, which has a lot of activity constantly. And also, we're going to move a little bit up and down the coast because something unusual um, is building up over there. So, just to follow up, nothing to scare you, just to follow up, right? So, we know we had that 6.5 earthquake in uh, Tonopah, uh, Tonopah. Nevada, if I mispronounce it, please correct me, right? Uh, but if not, then I'm bilingual and sometimes blah, 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 blah. So <laughs> don't judge me, help me. If you know my show, it's all about helping one another get out of this crisis. And just give each other the information, right? We have pandemics, we have earthquakes, we have uh, locusts somewhere, we have hurricanes in Florida, right? We have... Uh, all kinds of problems that we have to deal with every day and it's depending on what you want to focus on everything out there matters for everybody but some things you just have to look at them for what they are right so these movements are here why are they a little bit concerning because we live in the area of southern california and we know it's very shaky and we have the precedent already of last year seven point plus and the six point plus uh, back to back, July 4th, July 5th, and then we want to follow up on that. They always said either they are four shocks, you know, or aftershocks, right? So that's to be seen. Uh, but we must be prepared, right? Remember, be prepared. Go to the actual sites, USGS, and and, uh, and check out there what they're saying in terms of preparation. At least three days or, you know, as much as you want to. The, the better, uh, the more the better, right? But here we go. Um, we're going to go today right here and we're going to change this to we got local time and then we're going to change this to a terrain map so we can see more the names of the areas that we're talking about here all right i'm going to turn this a little bit for you so all right so here we are this is the area where the major quake 6.5 happened but there was a six points higher here in the area of idaho idaho right so we see that, see, it's come down now, right? And, and, and sometimes it gets a little bit active and then it comes up. This one right here is still moderate, right? But compared to the activity, look at this, the activity of a week, right? This is from a week altogether. <laughs> you see that? So you can see everything is coming down, right? So the earth is getting happy again. It's not like you know, all stressed out. COVID is not stressing the earth today. So let's see. Uh, so we're gonna, this is the issue here. Where is the force coming, right? Is it building in or is it releasing? And is it coming downward? And that was the thing that kind of like was interesting because from here, then we started seeing all this movement right here. See that right there, the 5.5, I believe. Yeah, see that, 5.5, right? So we can, um, actually see the downward movement right all the way to san diego where we had that bigger quake uh, more than a week ago so we're gonna go to like the 30 day magnitude 4.5 or higher 30 days so this is 30 days and this is the one in san diego see right by the border right there and then look at this here that's the six point something right here right so it's like a triangle form and then you got the 5.5 right here so just giving you a heads up, you know, but you can see that there is some substantial activity here on four and above, right? 
So that's something that we just got to keep an eye on it. Be prepared. We never know. This is the area where we had the quake. Um, this is, uh, by the way, there's a place called uh, Lunar um, Crater Volcanic Field right here in this area, right along. Uh, I'm going to enlarge it for you so you can see it. And that's what I was looking at that. And that's was kind of interesting. This is where Las Vegas is. See, this is Tonopah, Tonopah, you know, and then Warm Springs. And here is where that area is, you know, it's a volcanic area right here. So I don't know if that's completely related in terms of uh, the movements out there, but it's always good to know what's out there so that we can get an idea that these are not like <laughs> aliens, right? No. Nah. It's the earth, it moves, it shakes, it bakes, it dance, and what we gotta do is play with it, right? We have no control over that. She's the master, right? So here we go, see off the coast. But today, right, we go back to you. See, we had all this little activity. Is this related to this? Is this related to that? But what do we have here? We have areas of Sacramento and then San Francisco of the Cascadia, right? And then we got the San Andreas, right? right? All the way down south, right? So for the areas of California, Nevada, all the way down to the border, and for the upper northern Mexico, for people who get to see my video from there, just preparation, always be prepared, always have that thing right there where you can access to in case you need it. Idaho, you know, continue to have a, you know, a low level guard, but you know, don't, until all this is like erased, then we can kind of take a deep, deep breath and chill out. But right here, we still, it's moderate. Actually, a little bit about moderate because you still have some fours and, you know, and higher there here. So, you know, we're looking at this right here, right? Now, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of the <laughs> the hurricane area was right here in North Carolina, I guess, right? So you can see that we deal we're dealing with a lot of issues, right? We cold weather, tornado areas, right? All throughout the flats, right? And uh, I can give you, I mean, <laughs> full full details of that. But what's what's the point of be stressing out with a lot of those things? Every area has to deal with certain things, right? Uh, but for us here in the West Coast, our main issues are right now dealing with our our pandemic situation and also the earthquake situation. And um, it sometimes gets windy in Southern California. You just gotta watch out for that. But other than that, life is good, right? <laughs> so, like I said, our world spins every day, twenty four seven, right? So. Whether it's flat or round, it really doesn't matter. He's going to do his thing. We're just here hosting, right? We just the, the what do they call the uh, the visitors, right? So here it is, our beautiful Oakland, right? Take care of your country. Take care of your people. Take care of your countrymen. Be helpful out there to one another. If you prepare, prepare a little extra for you know, eventualities. Can I help other people? If you like my videos, please like and share. Please uh, make comments because I like to know what I'm doing wrong. So <laughs> I'm a salesman, so I don't care. You can criticize me, just don't use file language. But I like to know so that I can get better at it. This just started in March and I've never done this before like this. And uh, I'm just hoping that I can turn on to something, right? If it helps you, you know, in any way, just let me know. All right? And share it if it does so that you can help someone else. Okay, here, don't be a dummy. Follow all the rules out there, the instructions, and also be prepared. Don't be a victim, be a winner. Again, from the Alan Show, this was the Earthquake Report. Stay tuned for more. Ciao.